All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence. And honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days right and we're going to flow with the spirit and you know what we're going to do we have to look the program's getting exposed anyway this whole program the house of cards is falling right we're just going to flow with the spirit. i haven't got nothing written down we're going to flow with the spirit and lord willing you have a shot will make my words acceptable okay we're going to start from Proverbs 8 and jump straight to verse. Ah, go to verse 12. 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Right? So that's the fear of the Lord. If you fear the Lord, you're going to hate evil. Now, does this mean you're not going to go off? We're going to go off. But you, f you hate evil. You want to do the right thing. So, guess what? That means. The, the fear of the Lord, you have a shy, it's there. Pride and arrogancy. Right? Hate evil. Pride. Someone that's very prideful. Someone that can't be told anything. And arrogancy. And the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. A mouth that speaks lies. A mouth that speaks slander. The Lord, you have a shy, hates that. Hates someone like that. With them characteristics. Someone like that ain't gonna last too long. Okay. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding and I have strength. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. Right? And true justice, the only way you have true justice is through the scriptures. That's the only way. That's the only way. Right? This program is good because we're able to see all the corruption, everything that happens. But it's so nefarious, it's corrupt to the highest level. To the highest level, it's corrupt. Man, bear with me. let's go to Romans. You've got people doing reprobate shit. Excuse my language. Just doing reprobate things. Okay. This is Romans 1, and we're going to jump straight to verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, so what does that mean to retain, to hold on to this truth, to consider what's being said? Guess what? The Mosai gave them up over to a reprobate mind. It's not us that done that. It's the Heavenly Father gave you up to a reprobate mind. Right? To do things that are not convenient. To do those things which are not convenient. Reprobate, mean, reprobate means void of judgment. Right? Void of judgment. Right? A castaway to do things that are not convenient. It's not convenient to follow people around. That's not convenient. It's not convenient to do a loop in your car. Alright, like, turn back around, mate. Yeah, we're gonna do a loop. That's not convenient. Right? These things are not conven convenient. Okay. It's reprobate behavior. Right? That's not normal. Okay, that is not normal. That's not normal behavior. It's, it's sick. It's, it's a mental illness. So the actions, what people are doing, is clearly not right. Verse 29, being filled with all unrighteousness. That's what they're filled with. Fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy. Murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of the most high. Yeah, so lucky I see. Oi, bro, this this how you can't make this up. Yeah, Satan just cut off my life. Right? And this is how you know he doesn't want this word to get out. <laughs> Alright, this is how you know he does not want this word to get out. Right? The feed was fine and it just cut off. And what does this show us? We're in the battle. But what was I saying? The things, yeah, that's not convenient. So what these people are doing is not convenient. It's reprobate behavior. 
right? How people function in society, right? It's supposed to be in a way where things are running, right? Smoothly and sometimes not smoothly. It's not supposed to be, what's the word, what's the word, what's the word? Fair to, right? A lot of it is fair to. Right? But the Lord you have is going to put an end to it very soon. <laughs> okay? Like I said, I haven't got nothing written down, so I'm just flowing with the spirit. It's going to be like I'm just a flow in the spirit. Okay? And there's something called an espionage. An espionage. Right? When basically these government agencies, the NSA, the FBI, whatever you want to call it, it's when they infiltrate a particular group. So even within this truth, yes, you have espionage, right? And their whole thing is to get them within these camps and slander the camps and demonize. Don't fall for it. Do not fall for it, right? They're trying to demonize us with this truth, right? And the reason why they put cameras in your house and so forth, so now you might be doing something, you might be scratching your ass. <laughs> you may have a little itch on your ass, and they say, Look, look, he's scratching his ass. What's up? You can't do nothing. So, man, hey, Yahweh, don't worry. Yahweh is going to come through for us, man. But that's part of the espionage slender, government agents, and you have other people that are paid, right, to come through your community. And spread lies and spread slander. Yeah, they quickly do it. Go into the store. Oh, this individual, what? Oh, don't talk to him. Don't talk to this individual. He's under investigation. You know? For what? For if some. For what? <laughs> under, under, under investigation for what? Right? So hold on a minute. He's under investigation, but you have cameras within his household. You have. The car tapped, you have the cars tapped, you have all the that, but you can't find anything. So it doesn't, all the pieces don't come together. It's slander. Yahweh said these things would happen. Right? Let's go into some scriptures to bring this out. I want to go to Luke 21. This is Luke 21 and 12. But before all these, they shall lay it. You know what? Go to Matthew's first. so desperate and I want to throw this out there as well my father had a party he doesn't party all the time he has like parties that like once within the summer right and I'm throwing this out for edification when the day after this is the day after the individual said to, to the next door neighbor one of the next door neighbors I heard the individual say oh you know they had me up all night you know it was horrible they had me up all night well, bro, what, what do you mean what do you mean they had you up all night? Bro, the cars make more noise than that. You've got cars that go past in the street every day that make more noise. So what, they, that, that don't have you up all night? What I'm talking about, one summer, my father um, throws a party a get-together, because you know our people, they like to have them get-togethers. So guess what that was? Guess what, that, that was a government agent, right? Trying to turn other people against you, even neighbors. And these people may not know what's going on, right? That's a fucking devil. That's a devil, right? That's what that is. It's called espionage, it's called slander. That's what that's called, right? There's not, every single day there's some type of noise and you're gonna complain about a party, right? And what was it up to late? I don't know, it was about two, about two o'clock, one o'clock. But so what, right? And so bloody what? If you're paying your bills and your taxes, that shouldn't even matter anyway. Right? So these are the type of things that are going on. There's a lot of jealousy, there's a lot of envy, there's just a lot of things that are going on, some backhanded shit. Right? And that's why, yeah, we have to be cautious. You have told us how to move. Now, do I have certain regrets concerning how I teach? Yeah, teach the truth, because guess what? If I could make a few changes, I would have done things different, slightly different, slightly different, right? 
Go to Matthew's Baba Kasha, 10 and 16. Behold, I send you forth the sheep in the midst of wolves. Right? Sheep in the midst of... So what's sheep? Sheep are vulnerable. So, really, I should have applied this more. Right? So when we're out of sheep, anything can happen. What a disadvantage to some circle. We are amongst wolves. Wolves devour. That's why you can't be walking around with your chest out. You can't be doing that. Teach the word, get on with your business and get the hell out of there. Right? This is espionage. These are these are every single tactic I'm seeing, these are military trained tactics I'm seeing. So even the people, whether it's neighbours, whether it's your local stores, what are they being taught? They're being taught military tactics. That's what the people are being taught. They're being taught military tactics, right? So they're, te they're teaching the citizens this, right? Military tactics. And this is on, this is on a large scale. But who is it, who is it, who is it catered to? This is espionage. And that's why we, if you, look, if you don't have faith, you ain't gonna get through this. And it's different levels for different brothers. I believe the camps have been infiltrated. I've told you this flipping years ago. All right? I told you this years ago. The camps have been infiltrated. This is what happens when, you don't, when you're not circumspect. Now look what's going on. And I see it with it, I see it with all the camps in the UK. Yeah, it's turned up now, right? I'm not a genius on military tech, but I know a little bit about military tactics, right? The art of war, right? These are ra rapid response. Why you got fire engines, ambulances, Nino, Nino? That's rapid, that's rapid response. These are military tactics. Pr crowd him, block, block off the entry, block off the entry. These are military tactics. And for you to be able to use these tactics, you will need to have a reason to justify why you're using these tactics. A woman just walked past, same thing. Security, security dog. You know, they're, they're dog walkers. So you have the military or the contractors, whoever they may be, giving these people dogs to walk. The dogs don't belong to them. Where are they getting these dogs from? You know? Where are, they getting, where are they getting these dogs from? <laughs> Alright, this is heavy, but this is, is persecution. The scripture said this would happen. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. This is what Yahabashah told us to do. Yeah? Wise as serpents, harmless as doves. So you're not supposed to be out here acting all macho, like you're a bad man. Oh yeah, we're wise as serpents, but we're harmless as doves. We teach the words and we got them with our lives and that's it. You hanging around too long. And I always say this, once you teach, you get out of there. Why are you hanging around? And that's why they create different scenarios. I'm trying to tell you how this program works. There's so much to it, right? Because they're trying to set you up. They're trying to make you look bad, right? And I believe, wait, this is this thing. I believe I was targeted before I knew, before I woke up to the truth, right? I believe so. Now looking at some of the events that were happening, then people were supposed to be, that was no coincidence. Those people were supposed to be there, right? So it's all, come, it's all coming together. It's all coming together, all right? It's all coming together. It was covert. But now you once you wake up to the truth <laughs> and you're able to see, they're like, oh shit. Excuse me, like I need to stop saying that. They're like, oh man, he sees. So once you see, it's that like them demons become alert now, and now you're a target to the spiritual realm. Because I always say this is always spiritual. No matter how much technology is involved, this is always spiritual. Right? They know you see. 
because the demons knew Yahweh Shai, they knew Paul, they knew the prophets, right? They know, they know, they know who you are. Verse 17, but beware of men for they will deliver you up to the councils. It says it point blank. Beware of men. It doesn't tell us specifically. Well, actually it does, it does. But beware of men. So that could be anyone, anyone. This is so dangerous because it's an espionage. Well, what do you do with a target board? What do you do? You chuck darts at it. You ever, have you ever seen a, a dart board? It's a target board, right? Okay. So it's like your easy prey, right? It's a, it's a dangerous situation, right? But that's why you, you're gonna have to pray to the Lord. And if he, if he takes some of that burden off you, he, he does. And if he don't, he don't, right? It's an espionage. They, inf they infiltrate. It, it, they can infiltrate your family. Now your family could be coming up against you because their minds have been infiltrated. Their minds have been hijacked. But remember, it's all spiritual first. Don't look at the individual and say, well, it's an intelligence officer. Um, he, he rang the house phone and said, oh, your son is under investigation. Um, don't let him know. But um, keep silent about it. You don't know what they've said to your family. I do, because they let me know. I had, I had a um, word with my family. And all of them know, right? But I let them know it's lies, because they know what I do. All of them, they know what I do, right? But these are, these are devils, right? That do, that's, that's, the, that's what the devil does. And that's why the scriptures tell us to be circumspect, right? But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the council and scourge you in their synagogues. That's going to happen to certain brothers. Certain brothers are going to be delivered up, right? That's what's going to happen. This is the reality that a lot of you don't know what you're flipping involved in. Some of you are going to be delivered up. And scored you in this. Some of you are going to be beaten in these synagogues. This has all been planned. And you shall be brought before governors. Who are your governors? Your governors are also what the mains. Right? Right? And kings, for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Right? And to the king, some of you are going to actually be brought before the Rothschilds themselves and the higher ups. Right? So this shows you who, who is pulling the strings. We know the Heavenly Father is in control of everything, but you have the elites. They're in control. Who's in, who's in control of the military? If I may ask you. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you the um, answer anyway. Who's in control of the military? The elites. Right? They don't, they don't, the military don't go out on their own orders, even though you have some that do that, the corrupt ones, but it's the elites. And they say, you go here, you go there. Right? <sighs> Excuse me. So some of you are going to be brought up. And you may be asking, well, why, why haven't they done it yet? Because the elites want to hear what you have to say. Oh, there's going to be a time. There's going to be a time, but they want to hear what you have to say first, isn't it? Okay. And when they deliver you up, take no thought of how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in the same hour what you shall speak. So this is Yahweh comforting us, right? Take no thoughts, right? Don't even worry about what you're going to say, because that will all be given to you in due time. What you're going to say, how you're going to say it because right now within the camps I've been, I was telling you this years ago even when I was in the camp that what has been happening there's been espionage you have agents within the camps right that have infiltrated the camps that are not really sincere and they're trying to build up a case this is what's been happening and they've been building up cases after case this is what they want. I always say, you just you have to watch the videos. Why are you watching for entertainment? Watch the videos, right? This is what they're doing, right? On a large scale. 
Because you have some of our people, they're in what? They're under the 501c3 charter, they call it. Right? Which is a government charter, 501c3. So when you do these deals with Esau, you compromise your camp. And when you compromise your camp, you're under the 501c3 charter. You know about the 501c3 charter? No. no? It's basically a tax, tax, tax exempt churches. It's called the 501c3 oh, charter. I know. Well, they're not actually ah, tax exempt, ah, but ah, they're compromised. So that means they must have a hand in it. Ah, and if they go outside of the ah, teachings, they get punished. Everything gets taken away. Ah, Take care. Ah, so that's what a lot of these camps are under the 501c3 charter right and they're not going to tell you so if a man's in great millstone and he may be a bit iffy with a doctrine you've got to ask yourself well why why is he like that with the doctrine why is he iffy with the doctrine because this camp may and this i can't i'm not getting mad at certain brothers in great millstone but you have to see what's going on because you may even have camp leaders that are truly sincere that don't know what's going on you need to man they took they took the bag that's why they can't really teach you how a shy that's why they got to teach everything else that's why they got to teach vocab malone right because they took that bag and once you take that charter the 501c3 charter that means you're now compromised you're under a gag order teach this don't teach that remove this out and if you can't really teach about your Habashai, that means you can't really, you're not in his spirit. Oh no, you can teach about your Habashai, but they say, no, nah, just teach a little bit. Then I uh, talk about vocab Malone and um, talk about, talk about, um, talk about us and so forth. Right? Because you know, if you actually teaching your Habashai, what are you doing? You're raising the dead. See, there's power. That's why, what was Paul? What was the apostles doing they were teaching you Yahweh Shai the resurrection and life because they know if we teach the people Yahweh Shai what was going to happen what was people would be converted you better wake the hell up you better wake the hell up go to Matthew 24 it's like at Matthew's 10 still right so like I'm just multitasking weather's quite bad you know what should I put this down a bit all right you know what if it does start to rain I've got this board anyway to cover this device bear me just a minute and I'm just I know another thing I want to say to you contractors out there you you contractors don't take it personal some of them may not know what's happening some of them are just doing their job right as a contractor well, that gives it away. They're under a contract. They have a particular date to get that work done. Right? So don't think, oh, they're contractors. They're evil. Not all contractors are death dealers. <laughs> okay? You have people that, they love, they love their, their trade of work. But you have some that are corrupt. Okay? We have, to, we have to weigh everything out in a balance. Okay? And I know because my grandfather... <laughs> Was it, um, what's what? A contractor, electrician for the military, right? A top, top level, top level contract electrician for the military, but he passed early, you know? I've got all the books as well, indoors. I've got all the contractor books indoors, right? High level contract electricity, right? But anyway, I want to get straight to the point. Um... And when they deliver you up, take no thought, how what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in the same hour what you shall speak, for it is not ye that speak, but your father that speaketh in you. Right? So these things were going to happen. Right? Now I want to go to Luke 21. And it's the same thing on verse 12. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you, persecute you, deliver you up to synagogues and into prisons being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake so oh they're coming they're coming it's all being orchestrated that i can't tell you him i can't tell you him right but for them to do that they would need to set up um 
some type of form of scenario, right? To make you look a particular way. They're not just gonna come for you for no reason, right? So there's, there's an agenda that's going on. And that's why I always say, brothers, how you conduct yourself indoors and outside, it should always be within the scriptures, right? And if, if anybody's gonna say anything about you, it has to be a lie anyway. Right? You have to, yeah, watch how you conduct yourself. It's one thing doing these lessons, and after you've done the lessons, you, you just go back to being a nigger again. Watch how you conduct yourself, because they're watching. Right? I knew I was being watched years ago. Just certain things that were happening. But more so when I came into the truth, because I spoke to certain brothers about it as well. One brother told me he's no longer in the truth. He said he went on holiday. <laughs> He used to the one on holiday and he had um, an idea. This individual was following him, following him on holiday. So this thing is serious. And a lot of people said, oh, mate, who are you? Some, some, <laughs> some people will say that. Who are you? You're not, that, you're not that special that they follow you. Well, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you are of the elect, you are special. You're important. Right? Because we know all the former prophets, they're back here again today. Right? They're all back here again today. So you are important. Okay. Excuse me just a minute. So, verse 15, For I will give you a mouth from which all your adversaries shall not be able to gain, say, nor resist. And when you're before the magistrates, some of you, before these courts, you're going to be very, very surprised. Don't say I never told you. Wait, the beautiful thing with the sermon, I was able to see particular things before time. Right? We just need to let it play out. I was able to see particular things before time. I'm talking about years back. Right? And that's my supernatural power. That's my, that's my ability. I'm able to discern certain things. Right? Before they even happen. Right? There's certain things I saw, there's shady things within camps, right? Don't be surprised when you're in these courts, right? And you see particular individuals that you were laboring with. Hold on, this is this individual. Well, hold on a minute, he was in a camp, he was saying Shalawam. He was doing videos. Don't be surprised, right? Some of them had them big bears, their bears were shaved off when you see, shaved off when you see them in court, right? They only had the beards to blend in. That's the only reason why they had their beards, to blend in. Right? I keep telling you, this truth, yeah, it's been infiltrated. On a large scale. Right? On a large scale, this truth has been infiltrated. Big time. Okay? Big time. Big time. Big time. All right? But the scripture said that would happen. Okay? These things will happen. So don't find it strange when these things happen. And it says, For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which your adversary shall what? Not be able to gainsay nor resist. And you shall be betrayed both, right? By parents and brethren and king's folks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. That's why you got to watch out. Keep anybody that's not in this truth, you gotta keep them at arm's length. Because they could switch up on you any given time. And it says that. Right? Friends, brethren, they shall cause some of you to be put to death. That's why we have to be circumspect who you're letting around you. Check out your environment as well. All these things. You have to be circumspect. Because any given moment. Things can happen within an hour, quick. That's why we have to be circumspect. And what does circumspect mean? Full circle. Circum means full circle. And speck from your eyes, so looking around. Observing. <laughs> Observing things. That's, what we have, that's how we have to be within this truth. Observant. Checking your surroundings. This is like spiritual military. And it says... And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. So the hate is coming. The slander's coming. 
they're going to put us out on the news as some bloody terrorists or something, right? That's what that's, they're going to put us out like that, okay? Oh, these guys, they're extreme. They're this. But hold on, hold on. Not everybody's going to agree. There's going to be some people that vouch for us. Look, we just got to let Yahweh Shai take control, right? Some people are going to, you're going to have some people vouching for you. No, he wasn't doing that. He wasn't doing that. He was teaching the word. He wasn't getting into any trouble. Right? So, just let Yahabashai do his thing. Okay? Let him do his thing. And it says, Baba Kishat, and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. So, it's important that, well, look, look. It's important that we go, if you're going through these things early, right? That's good. I won't say that again. If you're going through these things early, that's good. Because it's, it's getting you prepared. So when that time does come, you're like, oh no, but but um, this ain't supposed to happen. You know? See, the Pharisees, those that are in that, the position of the Pharisees, the wicked Pharisees, they're not going to know how to deal with it. Oh, actually, 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 they're going to be the They are going to be the ones that are persecuting you. They are going to be the ones. It's already been set up. Yahweh showed me what I needed to see, and I hope he shows me more. But he showed me what I needed to see at that particular moment. And it ain't quite what you think it is. Alright? Got us out here on some bloody blacklist. Like we're extremists. We're teaching the Bible. Don't you get it? Alright? And Britain, it's supposed to be based off of, of the Bible, Britain. Right? But it's not. We clearly know it's not. But you have a Bible in your court systems. The hypocrisy. The hypocrisy. And in your patience. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Verse 18. I'm feeling amped up. I need to slow down. <laughs> I can't. My blood pressure is going high. I need to slow down. Let's go to verse. It's because I'm amped up. I'm passionate. That's why. Go to verse 18. And that's another thing with this program. They try to make you hyper vigilant. So when you're hyper vigilant, you're acting erratically. You're acting like a bloody mule on steroids. So when you start acting like that, people start looking at you. And we know they have tech where they can look in. People are actually looking what you're doing inside your homes. Right? And yeah, they have particular tech as well where they can mess with your mind. So now you may be looking at this particular individual and say, well, why is he he's acting a bit weird? Because they're flipping news and all these devices. Right? And they weaponize these devices and they say, look, 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 look how he's acting. But you need to know what's going on. This is fraudulent. What they're doing is fraudulent. You better grow yourself a backbone and say, no, I'm not doing that. All right? Even if you lose your job. All right? And if you're a fully uh, qualified contractor, all right? If you're a fully qualified contractor, uh, you can just get another, uh, you know, another, you can work somewhere else. All right? Okay. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. M move from here. Yes, these crows. And guess what? That's another thing as well. Part of this program is this highly, this highly um, witchcraft in it, right? If you see a pack of crows, right, what does that let you know? Yep, there's a lot of witchcraft being done, right? A lot of witchcraft. Wait, once you see a pack of crows, what does that tell you? Yeah, there's witchcraft being done, right? But the gates of hell shall not prevail against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Anyway, let's continue. And it says. There shall not ahead of your head perish in your patience. Possess your souls. Be patient. Be calm. And then you shall see Jerusalem. Compass with armies. Then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. This already happened during Vespasian. Go into history. Right? And something you can learn about um, during the time of the Romans. What did they do as well? That word Christian came about in the time of the Romans. In the time of Antioch, the Christians, they were called Christians, what in the time of Antioch, right? 
And what did they do? The Romans, they were, they were causing havoc, causing blowing up certain things, and they were blaming it on the Christians. They were blaming it on Christians, right? And they were saying, yeah, it was the followers of Mashiach that done it. Same thing again today. And you know what this program has taught me? You know, when you see all the actors in the theatre, it's like, oh my gosh. So when you have these particular incidents and bombings and whatever, they just have actors. They just have actors. Y'all saw this or saw that. So this program, it, it, right, the program is a blessing in disguise because it does expose their wickedness. It's not working. I don't say it's working for them. I think it's working against them. Because a lie is only for a certain amount of time. The truth is forever. Right? So let's, let's use this program to our advantage, to the, to the best of our ability. Use it to our advantage, right? So we went to that. I didn't bring the, I didn't bring the Apocrypha with me as well today. I left it. These things need to happen. It's, it's, it's necessary. I want to go to Deuteronomy 28. It's Deuteronomy 28. And we're going to jump straight to verse 49. And the Lord Jehovah shall bring a nation. Right? against thee from far this is going back to the romans by the way excuse me the romans were fierce the romans were fierce the roman up to be the but guess what the roman up yeah it was fierce and they were they were known for what the massive military but the roman empire how did it fall how did the roman empire fall it spread its military too thin and that's how it got taken down right and the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle. And the sign of the Romans is the eagle. Right? A nation whose tongue they shall not understand. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall neither regard the person of old nor show favour to the young. They weren't showing any favour. Oh, um, it's just a young woman. She's in her 50s or 60s. Just leave her alone. They weren't doing that. Right? They, should not, they were not sparing any Vespasian. Type in the history of Vespasian and Titus. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, I shall not regard the person of the old nor show favour to the young. He shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave either corn, wine, or oil, or increase of thy king or flocks of sheep until he hath destroyed thee. He shall besiege thee in all thy gates. Right? These are all war tactics. So what do you do? You close off the gates, the borders, besiege. Right? All military tactics. Okay? When the enemy, you see, you see the point of where they leave, the entry point, right? All the points where, where they could um, where they could be um traveling. Right? Until the high and fence walls come down. And the reason I believe personally, because <laughs> the targeting is different for different brothers. I believe they needed to um, amp up my targeting because there was a point where I was so unpredictable, so unpredictable, they were like, all right, we need to do something about this individual, right? He's all over here, he's over here. One minute he's there, one minute he's here, <laughs> the next minute he's over there, and that's why I believe they've amped up my targeting, right? But I just flow with the spirit, right? I don't let, I'm not, I'm not letting the enemy dictate my pace, right? You, no, 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 you're going to move at my pace. The enemy ain't going dicta to dictate my pace, right? Okay. They want you to be all hypervigilant. Okay. And it says, Baba Kasha. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle, when they shall in all thy gates, until the high and fence walls come down, wherein thy trust is throughout all the lands. And he shall besiege you in all thy gates throughout all the land, which the Lord thy power have given thee. So, that's part of war. You besiege the gates. Make sure no one gets out. Make sure no one gets in. And whoever gets out 
can't get back in right and that's why there's going to be a time where bro we ain't going to be traveling these long traveling because all it takes is one event and you ain't going to be able to get back where you want to get back that can happen that can happen that's why you're taking a risk if you're really traveling into the city you're taking a risk and teaching right and it says and I tend the high and fence walls come down where they trusted throughout all that land that's a besiegement right and it says and he shall besiege you in all that get throughout all the lands which the Lord power have given thee and thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body the flesh of sons and that's where they, our people were doing that they had to it, it talks about they were eating their belts it was documented they were eating their belts they were eating their shoelaces right they had nothing else to eat right and that's what happens in, in war all right it's starting to rain now excuse me just a minute i'm gonna have to put this somewhere else we always find a way always find a way you know what hey this is a good place to put it you know what put this here instead okay Bear me just a minute. Man, this is a real, this is real, real spiritual war. Okay. Oh. So they're gonna besiege you in that gates, right? In all that gates, they're gonna besiege you. That's a nice dog you got there. Yeah. I know they're one of the best um, guard dogs. What's it? Doberman? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're top notch guard dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice kind of dog you got. Oh. So, yeah, they're going to besiege you in all their gates. That's part of what their military <laughs> tactics <laughs> to shut off all the gates and all the entry points. So, even to your stores, all of that, that's all going to be shut off. Right? All those entry points are going to be shut off. Same with the entry entry inside. Come in one way, get out one way. That's how it's going to be. Deuteronomy 28. And it says, and thou shalt eat the fruit of what that the offspring. That's what's going to happen. It's going to have people eating. Right? Offspring. Because they're going to get hungry. They're going to get real hungry. Okay. Oh, they're all coming out. Excuse me, oh, they're all coming out now, man. All the ages. <laughs> oh, man, maybe just a minute. Maybe, let's see what else we've got. So that he will not give to any of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat. Right? I will need to get that umbrella out. Right? A lot of spiritual things are going on. Hell of a lot of spiritual things. Right? Got people doing their, their Masonic hand gestures. Come on, that ain't gonna save you from the wrath. That ain't gonna save you from the wrath to come, right? So it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Deuteronomy 28. And where was we? 4 to 54. So that man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother and toward the wife of his bosom. And toward the remnant, right, of his children, which he shall leave, and that's part of the curses, right? That's part of the curses. And it says, so that he will not give to any of the flesh of his children, of whom he shall eat, because he have nothing left in him in the siege, and in the straightness where thy enemy shall distress thee at all thy gates. So there was going to be a great distressing, and you're going to have people what eating their offspring because of famine and it says and attend a woman among you which would not adventure to set her soul of her foot upon the ground for delicateness the tenderness her eye shall be evil towards her husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter and toward the young one that cometh out from between her feet and toward the children which you shall bear and she shall them. right excuse me just a minute 
Man, it's dropping. All right? Hold on just a minute. Yeah, there's a lot of um yeah bro, you can see through these people, man. You can see right through them. Alright? All them sacrifices these people are doing, it's only gonna come to me. Right? All this witchcraft, the hand gestures, right? I've never believed in all that rubbish, the Masonic hand gestures. Well what, what does that mean to you? Well what what does it really mean? Right? These are just Masonic hand signs and bro, it's rubbish. It doesn't hold no weight, right? It doesn't hold no weight. Go to Matthew 28. Okay. To me, now all those mas masonic hand gestures is useless, right? It's useless, right? <laughs> it doesn't hold no weight. There's no power in it, right? How do you how do you get power out of a hand gesture? There's no power out of that, right? And it says, and if I will observe, but I understand, I understand, they're all part of what fraternity, most of these people, they're part of some type of form of fraternity, right? But there's only one true fraternity, and that's Yahavashai and the Apostles, that's the true fraternity, okay? And it says, and they should distress thee and all that gate, so get ready for that to happen. Yeah, famine is a reality as well, right? Famine is a reality. Okay, it's happened before, right? It happens in different lands, right? And it happened again, right? Famine is a reality. Excuse me just a minute. And this is all, all these things are going to happen. This is all a part of the persecution that we're going to have to go through. That's why. Oh, you, you're going to need to be built up. Everything we, we went through in this trip is to build faith. Everything. I'm looking for something in Jeremiah. Oh, beautiful. Found it. Jeremiah 15. Then said he unto me. Right? When, he, when said he unto me bunch of degenerates <laughs> then said he unto me key thing though Moses and Samuel right? Moses and Samuel stood before me yet my mind had not been towards him okay and it says Baba Kasha my mind could not be towards these people okay and it says cast them out of my sight right and let them go forth so this is what needed to happen all right oh, he's coming. and it shall come to pass so let him get away. right the foolishness that's that's what foolishness i'm talking about right and it says if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then shall I tell them, Thus saith the Lord, such as for death. For death. Right? And it says, And such are for the sword, to the sword. Right? And such are for the famine, to the famine. And such are for captivity, to the captivity. So, these plagues are going to come upon our people. Right? In real time. All these plagues are going to come up on our people. Okay? As such for the captivity, to the captivity. So all these plagues, famine, the sword, the sword represents what? Destruction. All these things are going to come. And then I will point over them. Four kinds say, if the Lord Jehovah Shai. The dog to tear, the dogs to tear, the fowls of heaven. So you're going to have dogs out here. And they're going to be tearing up people. Right? The dogs to tear. And the fowls of heaven. And the bees of earth to devour. And destroy. All these things. Right? And I've noticed that. How long have I been out for? About... 40 certain 40 minutes and it's like 
more people come out, right? More people come out. This is, this is, everything's changing. Everything is changing, right? And it's showing you how easily people are manipulated. Very, very easily, right? And the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. So these things are going to happen on a large scale. The beasts are going to be devouring, yeah. right? And destroying, right? Mm -mm -mm. And the beasts are destroyed. So the fowls, they're going to have a, they're going to have a field day, big time, right? They're going to have a field day, right? It's all orchestrated. Every, everybody, what everybody's doing is orchestrated. Heavily orchestrated. Whatever you want to say by AI, give yeah, it is. Well, how would they know where you are? How would they know where you are? It's through AI. And one could say, well, uh, change your phone. No, 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 no. What's the point? Because you could do that, but if you have particular devices within your household, they could get through that. Right? They, so this is this is the espionage that we are talking about, right? It's espionage, whether you want to believe it or not, right? And one may say, well, it's a, yeah, it is illegal, but they don't have to tell the, the military don't have to tell the president. They don't have to, t they don't have to tell them. They could just go right through it, right through with it, right? But now all they have to do is show you a badge, or show, send you a notification, ah, get him! As the individual said earlier on, get him! Yeah, it's that, it's that spirit. Don't let him go. Don't let him go. It's that type of spirit. So, they're also putting people's lives in danger because they don't, they don't know what's going on. Some of them know what's going on. Some of them don't. Some of them are being told to keep their mouth closed. It's a, what they're doing, it is illegal. It's not legal. Right? The pre I'm sure the president doesn't know about this now. Barack Obama, he signed the law, right? Of what was the what was the law? Actually, you know what? He signed the law to detention camps to bring back the guillotine, right? And over five hundred thousand coffins. So, well, why do you think them? Where do you think? Why do you think they got all them coffins? The guillotines, because them things are going to be used. <laughs> detention centers. And he's the one that pushed for the law also of torturing and detainment and what the privacy the privacy laws to take that away and that really what was amped up during 9 11. right now trump right i'm not a fan of trump but the thing the good thing about trump trump wanted to do away with that and bring in what the privacy back right but that that didn't quite work because now anybody could be put right i'm just a bit of rambling anybody can just be put on this program anybody could be someone could be put on this program and not even know why that hey bro that's not good that's not good this is how bad it is anybody can be put on a list of program and they don't even know why Right? Because before you before you even do that, you let the person know why. Right? We have we have suspicion you were doing this, so you were here, you were there. That's what you're supposed to do. So these people they're really sly, but that's 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 how the devil operates. Right? Like I said, military tactics. It's illegal what they're doing. And that's why they have to um hide their hands. You may have someone that drives past, another person drives past. And just look at the pattern of the cars that go past as well. Look at the pattern. Some of them are normal civilians. But just look at the pattern. Who's orchestrating it? That's what you want to find out. Who's, in, your, in your neighborhood, who's actually orchestrating it? Because after some time, you'll be able to see the patterns. Right? And they don't want to be seen. That's why they hurry up and quickly get in the car. Because they don't want to be seen. Because now, if you were to record it, the license plate, what time they come during the day, and you were to give this in, 
I don't want to say the police because some of the police, they're part of it as well. But if you were to give this in to a good lawyer and bring it to court, they know they could get locked up. So that's why it's very, um, it's covert, but it's, but it's, but it's, but it's, it's over where it's in your face. They want you to, they, basically, they want you to know, they want you to know that they're watching you. <laughs> does, that, does that make sense? Right? It's covert, but it's over. Covert is something that's not quite clear. It's not clear to everyone, but it's over. So they can now do these things and harass without anybody else noticing. It's been, yeah, because it's military tactics. It's psychological warfare. All right? Just like with the beeping. The beeping don't really bother me. And really, everybody is under... um. What's the word? Everybody's basically being monitored. But it's more amped up to those that have this proof because they're able to see what's going on within society. Right? Okay? And it's, how it, it's just how it goes down. Right? So, Lord willing, you, you listen to this and you, some way you get enlightened and know what's going on. And you don't become deceived. Like if I get a notification, someone comes up. If someone comes up to me and says, um, "Yeah, you know what it is," because like, look, if someone comes up to you with a badge and says, "Hey, would you keep an eye on him? Keep an eye on him," and they show you a badge, you might shudder because you you've never really seen them things. You might say, "All right," and you might do it once, but then you're gonna check this individual out and say, "You know what? Nah, 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 nah. it don't it don't add up." He's coming to me. He's coming to me with a badge telling me to keep an eye on him. Right? He's doing that. It don't quite add up. And over time, after the first, you've checked him out. Because if someone was to do that to me, come to me with a badge and say, you know what? Please, would you, would you keep a quick eye on him? I'd do it once. Might check him out twice. And that's it. I'm going about my day. So now people are being paid to be informants. Bro. Back in my day, that was not cool. That was not cool to be a government informant. Right? At all. But that was just, that just seems to be popular. Now, we deal with the Bible, so if you see something that's not right, yeah, you're supposed to speak out on it, but it's not it's not cool the way Esau does it. Right? And because people are so insecure. This gives them that sense of power. Oh, what well, I can watch him. I can watch her. Oh, so they get that. They get that dopamine, right? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm I'm getting free powers from the government to to watch him. So that gives them that sense of what's it? Power, right? And this is why it becomes addictive to people. Yeah, I want to watch what he's doing. But all you're gonna see is me teaching the Bible. That's what you're going to see. Right? But we don't have no privacy, man. You really have no privacy. Okay? You really have no privacy. Right? Your privacy's been taken away. Kick. <laughs> All that's been taken away. And that's why I say Britain is like communist. Right? Com Welcome to communist Britain. Right? And you know who started communism, right? The, the, the so-called Jewish. They, they're the ones that were pushing communism, right? Just read the Communist Manifesto. Come here, look, right? Okay. You have no rights. Your rights will be taken away, right? Oh, man. And that's why technology... It's, because it, it's, it's not good. It's not good. What they're doing with it, it's not good. Right? Let's take it back to the days of, you know what, now I was about to say 32 tens and it was slightly better, but the, even them phones back then could be tracked. If it could be tracked then, but it was, it was more better. Right? Back then, but now everything is basically monitored pretty much believe it or not everything is pretty much monitored right 
and a load of the tech gadgets. I was watching something online and say a load of your tech gadgets, <laughs> actually military inventions for the military, a load of your, uh, these tech gadgets, right? You'd be surprised the stuff you've got within your households. It's all being tapped. So now we've got to ask yourself, man, well, how long have they been watching you? Because I'm only finding this I'm only finding this out like couple two years. Right? So how long have they been watching you for? That's the question. Right? And that's why the scriptures be not ignorant. Right, excuse me just a minute. Go to Thessalonians. Because all this technology, go to first Thessalonians and jump straight to verse. Nine. It says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. So it says that. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. Right? So, this is how Esau gets one up. It's after the workings of Satan. Okay. And it says, Baba Kishar. Baba Kisha. And after the workings of Satan, with all power, right? And signs and lying wonders. So with this text, it says with all powers, signs, and lying wonders. Right? Lying wonders. That's how he's able to do this, right? And the 5G ties in with that as well. And the DARPA, I was looking up DARPA today. Okay. And lying wonders. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness. Right? It says all deceivableness of unrighteous. Okay. All. Not some. Okay. Bloody hell, they're all, bro, they're all out here for me today. I don't know. Bro. If, bro, if that much people are out here for you today, you've got to ask yourself, what are they putting? Right? Okay. You've got to ask yourself, well, what are they doing? Okay. What are they putting on these apps? Okay. You've got to ask yourself that. Because they could put anything, but they don't need to tell you what they're putting on these apps. Right? They could be saying, would you watch this individual? What, did they send out an app for you? For me? Right? I remember you. What, you Oliver's sister? And it says, with all, okay, deceitfulness, with all unrighteousness. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, and power and signs and lying wonders. Right? And with all deceivers of our righteous in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, the Master said them strong believers that should have believed a lie. So, again, they're able to what? Do these things. And in real time. Right? Uh, uh, uh. This is something else. This is something else. But the thing is, even though all this is going on, I want to go to Corinthians because one may say, hey, bro, how is the Lord, how is your going to get you out of this? Oh, no, 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 no. He's going he's gonna to get you out of it if it be his will. Right, excuse me just a minute. That much people come out. And apparently, yeah, this is an app-based um, thing as well. There's apps, community apps, which they can send out and they can add and put anything on these community apps anything they want any lies about you they can put on this community app 
And apparently, yeah, it's got your face on it and they could put anything on it. But guess what Yahweh is going to do to these individuals? He's going to destroy them. All right? Go to 1 Corinthians. 10 and 13. They have no temptation taken you, but such as common to men. But the most high is faithful. You will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. All right? But what would the temptation also make a way? No temptation you is, is has capacity, that's not what coming to man. But will the temptation will make a way to escape that you may bear it? So guess what? When it's all said and done, when you have a shy clears you, it's gonna be like, oh hey, right, to what and I wanna say this as well. When you have a shy does clear you from it, hey, right, you better you better praise him. Right? You better praise him with all your might and all your soul. Alright? Because it says it's a temptation. He'll make a way for, to get you out of it. So, whatever we're going through, whether it's a government list, he's going to make sure that you're alright. He's going to cover you. Because it's only so long they can put you on a, what, a government list for and have people following you until they take you back off it. And then people have to see, well, he ain't up to nothing. He's just teaching the Bible. He's minding his own business. So eventually, they're going to have to take you off it. Especially if others see, hold on. Why do they keep sending us these notifications? He ain't doing anything wrong. So the Lord Jehovah will make a way, okay, for you to escape that temptation in due time. Okay. He will make a way for you to escape that temptation. Okay? So with this, I really hope this is edifying. And until the next time, Shalom.